Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a handy analog to digital audio converter, which is perfect for connecting a newer digital soundbar to an older analog monitor because most of the older widescreen TVs output an analog signal, which is incompatible with the newer digital soundbars. This product does the conversion for you. You simply connect the audio output from the monitor to the input and the digital soundbar to the output, and then you can enjoy that theater quality audio. Now, before I get too deep into the review, I always like to start with an unboxing of a product just to show you all the components that are included with the package, and that way you know exactly what you get if you buy the product. And then, I'll provide an overview of the converter because it has a couple of cool features you may not find in other units. I'll take a closer look at the converter as well and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. And then finally, I'll come back and do a brief demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the package, you'll find the digital converter. You'll also find a power cable. This is a simple USB-A to micro USB cable. You'll plug the USB-A end into the charger and the micro USB end into the unit. Now it's nice they include a standard cable like this because if you have media equipment that has an available USB-A port on it, you can plug it right into your TV or your media equipment and eliminate the need for the power supply. You'll also find an optical cable, which I think is a nice touch, and this can be used to connect the unit up to your digital audio system. It's an SPDIF Toslink cable. You'll also find a power supply. This is a 5 volt 2 amp power supply, and again, you can use the power cable with that power supply for the unit's power. You'll also find a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other details you'll need to understand about the unit to use it correctly. So always read through the manual. That way you get the best value out of the product. Now, before I get too deep into the closer look, this unit's got a lot of features you may not find in other products. For starters, it's got an all aluminum case. Now that may not seem like a big deal, but a lot of the other converters on the market use a plastic case. The reason aluminum is important is really for two reasons. Number one, it makes it more durable. It's gonna last you a little bit longer. You don't have to worry about the plastic cracking and all that. But more importantly, you're doing an analog to digital conversion inside here. That circuitry is really, really sensitive. An aluminum case helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with that conversion. So it's durable and it's also protected against that outside interference. Two other things that are really nice, you have dual inputs here on the analog side, so you can use the two RCA connections, which again, most monitors or widescreen TVs have a set of stereo outputs on the back, or you can use a three and a half millimeter input, which again, gives you the choice depending on what type of monitor or widescreen TV you've got. The same is true in the output. The digital output provides two outputs, both an optical SP diff and a coax, so you can use either of those. And here's the important thing. Both of the inputs are active at the same time, and both of the outputs are active at the same time. This unit also provides support for PCM audio and LPCM audio, which is the most common audio on the market today. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'm gonna take a closer look at the actual converter, and then I'll come back and I'll do that demonstration to show you how to use the product. Inside the package, you'll find the analog to digital converter, a power cable that has a USB-A connection on one end and a micro USB connection on the other end. You'll plug this into the charger. The micro USB-A end plugs into the converter and I'll show you where that goes in a second. Now one advantage to having a cable like this is that if you have an available USB-A port on your monitor or your media equipment, you can plug this directly into it and eliminate the need for that power supply. The 5 volt 2 amp DC power supply is great if you don't have an available port. You can plug this end into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a USB-A port on it, which is used with the cable I just showed you. They also include an optical audio cable, which is really nice because these are fairly expensive. It's a Toslink cable that's used to connect the output of the converter to your digital soundbar. Also included is a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other important details you'll need to understand about the converter to use it correctly. Always a good idea to read through the manual. Now the analog to digital converter itself features an aluminum case like I'd mentioned, and that makes it lightweight and durable, and it also helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the one end, you'll find the input connections. There are two RCA ports right here that you can connect to the back of your monitor using a standard cable, or you can use a three and a half millimeter cable, converting that to an RCA or three and a half millimeter on the other end. This is the end you'll connect up to your analog source. On the other side are your output connections, over here, you'll find a DC input port, and that's used for the power supply. When you plug the power supply in, the unit starts a power on self-test and will illuminate the LED above it, letting you know the unit's ready to use. These two are output ports for the digital connections. You've got a coaxial option or the Toslink connection I just mentioned using the cable that was included. Both of these are active at the same time, and both of the input ports are active at the same time. So it's simply a matter of connecting this up to a monitor or widescreen TV on the analog side, 
and connecting your sound bar or digital sound system to the output to do that conversion for you. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the analog to digital audio converter with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor with audio in the background. The challenge is that audio is analog audio. Over here I have a newer soundbar that can only accept digital input. So I have to convert the analog audio to digital audio in order to be able to use this soundbar with this monitor. And that's exactly what this product was designed to do. Now the first connection I'll make is from the media player to the converter and I've got a cable already plugged in that ends with two RCA plugs. And it's important to note that the converter provides both an RCA input and a three and a half millimeter input, and you can use either one of those. So I'll plug these into the left and right input ports, and now I can add power. I've already plugged the power cable into a USB wall charger. The other end has a micro USB plug on it, and that plugs into the DC input port on the converter. Now the minute I add power to the unit, you'll notice the red light come on. It starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. It's also checking the audio input to make sure it's got valid audio coming in. And now I'm ready to connect up the soundbar. And I've got a cable connected already. It's an optical SP diff cable. And I'll plug that into the output. And again, you have two choices of outputs, either coaxial or optical. I'm going to choose the optical connection. And the minute I plug that in, there's your audio. And the only connection I'm making is analog here to digital out here plus the power supply. And it really is just that easy to get it working. It's a wonderful product that gives you a lot of advantages to marry older equipment with newer equipment. And it's plug and play simple. There are no drivers required. It's got an aluminum case, which is gonna minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. It uses a standard micro USB connection for power. So in this case, I could have actually plugged this cable into the back of this monitor and eliminated the USB wall charger completely. So everything about this just makes it incredibly easy to use, and I think it's a really good value. So hopefully you enjoyed this review, and until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.